Okay, uh, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum. Hello to everyone. So welcome to the online presentation of the six uh, Langkawi International Multidisciplinary Conference 2023. My name is uh, Siti Zaidah Krumin. So today I'm very glad to share with you some of the findings of um, my research with my colleague, Dr. Muhammad Nur Hisham Osman. The title of our research is New Tax Relief, New Tax Measurement of Existing Tax Relief and the Malaysian Economic Stimulus Package to Combat COVID-19, a study on the perception of Malaysian individual taxpayers and the influences drivers. All right, as an introduction, the first case of uh, COVID-19 in the world is reported on 17 of November 2020 in Wuhan, China. So called this virus, COVID-19 virus, actually is a combination of Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, coronavirus, and the deadly severe acute respiratory syndrome. Right? The symptom of uh, COVID-19 is a flu-like symptom, fever, cough, and also breathing difficulty. And on 30 January 2020, uh, the World Health Organization has announced COVID-19 as a pandemic owing to the first illness caused by coronavirus. So in Malaysia, uh, Malaysia has recorded three waves of COVID-19. Okay? The first wave is on 24th January 2020, <clears throat> with 22 cases from infected people coming from China. And then the second wave started on 27 February, and the third wave is on 8th of October 2020. Okay. Due to the fast growing uh, inactive cases of COVID-19 in the second wave, the government of Malaysia in uh, on 18 March 2020 has announced an action plan known as Movement Control Order MCO to help the spread of COVID-19. So under the moving control order, only essential services such as healthcare, logistic, food supply chain, and banking are allowed to be operated. Okay, during this period, people are afraid to go out and they are working from home to follow the rules of MCO to flatten the curve of COVID-19. This is uh, the discussion about the impact of COVID-19. Okay, The, uh, the COVID-19 is um, mentioned as the worst ever economic crisis, just as other developed nations in the world. Okay, So we have several negative impacts of COVID-19. Okay, uh, The first one is the recession impact, impact the GDP. Okay, And this leads to the increase in unemployment rate. Okay, in the two weeks of the MCO period, we record in Malaysia we record uh, the declining of the economic activity from two percent to zero point five percent, and then within five weeks of the implementation of the MCO, GDP of Malaysia decreased from three percent from four uh, percent to three percent. Okay, the International Monetary Fund has mentioned this economic crisis as the worst than the mortgage. As, as the worst than the mortgage crisis and need a long time to recover at the normal state. And at this time, it is very difficult to boost the economy like before. So this is the impact of COVID-19 to uh, Malaysian economy. Right? So, <clears throat> as, uh, as I have mentioned previously, Malaysia has come out with uh, three package um, uh, economic stimulus package in order to boost the Malaysian economy. So we have a prihatin package that is uh, introduced on 27th of March 2020. And then we have penjana package introduced on 5, uh, 5th, uh, 5th of June 2020. And permai package, okay, permai package that is introduced on 18 January 2021. All right. <clears throat> so we go... Uh, to the objective of prihatin, uh, economic stimulus 
stimulus package of prihatin. So among the objective of prihatin is to assist a business cash flow by enabling small and medium enterprise to defer income tax installment payment for three months commencing on 1st of April 2020. And uh, this is actually the uh, in, uh, additional to the previously announced the deferment of tax installment payment for tourism sector for six month period commencing 1st of April 2020. Other affected industries may also modify the amount of income tax due in the third, six, and nine installment. Okay, to stimulate tourism sector. Government granted the personal tax relief up to 1000 to resident individuals for the domestic travel expenses incurred between 1st of March 2020 to 31st of August 2020, which include accommodation expenses at hotel registered with the Ministry of Tourism, Arts and Culture, um, Malaysia and the entrance fees, meaning that the Prihatin Economic Stimulus Package also focus on a tourism sector to boost the performance of the tourism sector. And then we look at the objective of penjana. Okay, uh, penjana stimulus uh, economic package um, aim to assist working parents throughout the MCO period. Government offer childcare subsidies by raising the income tax relief of parent on children's services costs from 2000 to 3000 for the year of assessment 2020 and also 2021 okay this package penjana package also focus on business to recover from the impact of covid-19 under the package companies are eligible for tax reduction on covid-19 related expenditure the goal is to assist companies in adhering to new standards and operating accounting uh, uh in and operating according to the SOP, COVID-19 related expenditure include COVID-19 testing and the procurement of personal protective equipment and thermal scanners. This is among the expenditure that will be given reduction, tax reduction. Okay. Also, under this package, uh, tax advantage, uh, tax advantage is also provided to the tourism sector by extending the time period for income tax deduction up to one thousand for tourism, uh, tourism expenditure until thirty first of December twenty twenty one. All right. Now we go to the uh, Permai uh, Economic Stimulus Package. The objective of Permai Package, okay, uh, is also to boost um um economic condition in, uh, in Malaysia. So under the package, the scope of the medical checkup relief of 1,000 is expanded to include COVID-19 screening tests for the year of assessment 2021. Also, tax relief up to 2,500 is given on the purchase of smartphone, notebook, and also tablet that is introduced under package of penjana, under the package of penjana, which is extended to 31st December 2021, meaning that the things that we, we offer under the package of penjana now is extended to uh, the package of permai under 2021, December 2021. All right, now we go to the objective of the study. So the objective of this study is to investigate the perception of Malaysian taxpayers on the new tax relief and new measurement of existing tax relief in this economic package, in this three economic package. And the second objective is to examine the factors influencing the perception of individual taxpayers upon the uh, new tax relief and the new measurement of existing tax relief, tax relief in um, Penjana package, in Permai package, and, and also in um, Prihatin package. Right. So we have two objectives of this study. Now we go to the research methodology. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> this uh, research is using quantitative uh, quantitative uh, research method te research technique whereby data is collected through the questionnaire which is um, distributed to 150 uh, taxpayers around Kuala Lumpur and Selangor okay to investigate the perception of the individual taxpayers upon the new tax relief new tax measurement of existing tax relief and the Malaysian economic stimulus package we are using 17 question 
Okay, and then to investigate the factors influencing the perception of individual taxpayers, we have 10 questions for peer influence, okay, eight questions for tax awareness and six questions for tax education because peer influence, tax awareness and tax education is the um, independent uh, variable that is used to investigate the factors influencing uh, the perception of individual taxpayers. Right. And these 150 taxpayers as the respondent is chosen based on the simple random sampling. Right. And then uh, the data is um, uh, analyzed by using uh, descriptive analysis for the perception and multiple regression method for the factors influencing the perception of individual taxpayers. Right. So this is among the findings of the study. Uh, this is the findings with regards to the perception of Malaysian taxpayers, individual Malaysian taxpayers upon new tax relief, new tax measurement of existing tax relief and also the Malaysian economic stimulus package to combat COVID-19. Okay, 134 respondents strongly agree that the new measurement tax relief of child care subsidy of 3000 under Penjana really helped parents to reduce the tax burden. And then 133 respondents strongly agree that scope of the medical checkup relief of 1,000 expanded to include COVID-19 screening tests under PERMAI, which is introduced under PERMAI package for year of assessment 2021, really encourage taxpayers to go for COVID-19 screening tests. And 130 respondents out of 150 respondents strongly disagree on the statement that I think the new tax relief and new measurement on existing tax relief should not be introduced by the government. Meaning that we can say that a majority of the respondents in this study have positive perception um, um, upon the uh, new tax relief, uh, tax measurement and also the economic stimulus package uh, introduced by the Malaysian government. Right? And then this is the results pertaining to the influencing factors of the perception of individual taxpayers okay this one is our um, um, module a uh, model for multiple regression we can see here that the dependent variable is the perception uh, of the taxpayers upon the new tax relief new tax measurement of existing tax relief and the malaysian economic stimulus package okay to combat covid-19 and the in Independent variable is uh, peer influence, tax awareness, and tax education. So this is our multiple regression model. So this is the statistical results. So we can see here that all these three, uh, these three uh, independent variable is significant, okay, in influencing the perception of the taxpayers, okay, the perception of the tax taxpayers upon new tax relief, new tax measurement of existing tax relief and also the Malaysian Economic Stimulus Package which is Prihatin Penjana and also Permai. Okay, this is the significant value here. Okay, so uh, peer influence, tax awareness and tax education are significant in influencing the perception of, the perception of individual taxpayers. Right? This is the um, uh, complete uh, multiple regression model here. So we can say that higher tax awareness and higher tax education contribute to better perception of tax relief and measurement under the economic stimulus package among individual taxpayers. Also, peer influence has significant impact towards the perception of taxpayers relating to the tax relief and measurement under the economic stimulus package among individual taxpayers in Malaysia. All right, so now we look at the implication of the study. First, right. <clears throat> this study is uh fruitful. Result of the study is uh, beneficial, uh, in the way that uh the results add to the new literature, new literature in the discipline of taxation, especially when we uh discuss about um the impact the impact of COVID nineteen towards uh economy economy uh, in Malaysia. Okay, results of this study is fruitful in better understanding the perception of Malaysian taxpayers upon the new tax relief and new measurement of existing tax relief in Prihatin, Penjana and Permai package, as well as the influencing factors of the perception. All right, and then 
uh, the results also will assist government in further planning of any strategies to boost economy in the era of post COVID nineteen. Okay, in the era now we are in the era of post COVID nineteen. So in order to uh, make make any in in order to plan for any uh, strategies in boosting the economy of Malaysia, the results of these studies will uh, be useful um, to assist government in further planning of any strategies. Okay, the government will look at the at will look at the results of this study. The government uh, will uh, will better understand the perception of Malaysian taxpayers upon um, the economic stimulus package package that is introduced previously. Okay, and this will be uh, used as a guidelines for the government in order to um, plan any economic strategies to boost. Uh, our country's economy, right? Okay. Uh, however, uh, based on the study, the study only look at three uh, potential factors that will influence um, individual taxpayers' perception upon uh, the tax measurement and the new uh, and the economic stimulus package. So there might be other potential stimulus package that might influence the perception of the new tax relief and new measurement on existing tax relief um, in Prihatin, Penjana and Permai that is not included in the study. Therefore, it is valuable for future research in this field to consider the possibility for, of other stimulus factors. Also, the inclusion of other stimulus factors is worthwhile to obtain a stronger predictive model, multi-progression model of this matter. Right? So thank you very much for your attention.